All right, we are back. This is video number four. So um, we, you know, we have our porch and we have our railing. We have our opening for our skylight. We have our chimney designed. You know, we have a, a, a glazing system in the front entrance, you know, to allow some sunlight. Um, we added some typography and uh, we pushed back the roof to expose these rafters, you know, protruding through the ground. I really like that look there. So, you now I just want to do a few things before, or a couple things before we uh, move to SketchUp and start to get this ready for a render. Um, I want to add some, some type of, you know, you can add some character to, to your uh, facade, you know, give it a look and, you know, and maybe add a, you know, fascia board here. So, let's go ahead and do that. So, let's go to the south elevation because when I put this into SketchUp, my rendering will be, you know, showing for the most part, you know, this section. Or let's see if we can create a look here, a view using the uh, camera. So I want to make sure I get the, yeah, I want to make sure I get the uh, skylight, um, chimney, chimney here porch and the front entrance so I'm gonna doctor up this front facade you know give it a couple give it some sweeps and put a fascia board here and you know give it some thickness on the roof so let's go ahead and go back to 3d view or actually let's go to the south elevation so let's add some sweeps so under wall just like sweep and we can just we can just randomly place these uh, kind of eyeball it um, let's see sweep you know let's add one let's see where we are okay let's, let's add one here and sweep um, set something like like there And when we go into SketchUp, Thea Render, we can manipulate these textures and, you know, give them a different texture, different from what this facade is going to be here. Um, let's go ahead and also add a fascia board here. So let's go to Roof, Fascia, and you just select, select, and you got some thickness going on there. So that works and uh, and like I said I'm not gonna worry about the other side because my 3d view my, my rendering view would be basically this this look here and so let's get ready to, let's just go ahead and move this to SketchUp and what I'm what I'm gonna do in SketchUp is I'm gonna get some shrubs and some trees and you know have some trees in the background and the horizon you know we're gonna have we're gonna get a sky going eventually um, get some gravel you know some you know some parking spaces and things like that so this is gonna look really good so let's go ahead and throw this into SketchUp and the way we do that you're in 3d view export CAD formats EWG Ah, so you might not see masses when printing or exporting so before you export what you wanted to let's see what you want to do is VG visibility graphic and you're gonna scroll down until you find mass see how it's not selected so if I would have ex uh, exported this into SketchUp there's a possibility I would not have been able to see it um, so let's try it again. Export CAD format DWG. Man, I see masses when printing or exporting. I just set it, so we should be good. But we'll see. Um, so let's go here. Um, save this as a frame. Um, set that at 2007. Export. 
that it's it's doing its thing there. Sometimes it takes a while, sometimes it's really quick. It depends on what you got going on in your drawing. Let's go ahead and open up SketchUp. And and if you for let's say you forgot something in Revit and it's like you can always add it in SketchUp or you can just make a quick fix and then do another export. Um, depends on you, but let's go ahead and open up SketchUp and I'm going to work with what I have and we'll pick up the pieces in SketchUp. So once this SketchUp file gets opened, um, let's see here. Okay, yeah, that's that's all done. Just waiting on SketchUp, taking its precious time, and we'll just import it into here, and then um, let's see, ignore that. So let's just go ahead and import our file from Revit, and we had it saved as a uh, A-frame in the Lake House folder, so not that folder. Um, or lake property a frame import and go through the progress here and you should get a box and you just close out of that box import results that's good brings in our, our drawing here um, Shows our protruding rafters and everything, so I'm not going to need I'm not going to need everything. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete these. Definitely don't need those. Oh, I need you. Get rid of that. So as you can see, it did bring in the mass that we created. Um, it'll give you that warning. Uh, you just gotta make sure uh, make sure that you go to your VG command um, and and make sure masses is checked uh, because if it's not, it definitely will not export. Um, it was weird when I selected um, or went into the VG section and selected mass, and then when I exported, it still gave me a warning that it might not show so I thought that was a little weird but hey it worked so and we'll end up doing our view from like here from this from this view here but um I can just go ahead and set that and I can change it if I want just throughout the drawing I'll probably figure eh, you know I want to do it from this view or this view or whatever so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna start adding everything from SketchUp and you know, if I gotta create some models to model into these uh, spaces, add some shrubs, some trees, some parking spaces, some gravel, and uh, then we'll get to rendering. So uh, this is it for this part of the video. Um, next video, we'll go ahead and add all that stuff in and get ready for the render. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you're not subscribed. Thanks.